Matthew Perry has been seen for the first time since revealing he nearly died from an opioid addiction. The Friends star, 53, looked healthy as he played pickleball with friends in Los Angeles on Friday. Matthew's sighting comes just one day after he detailed how his drug and alcohol addictions left him with a 2% survival after the opioids caused his colon to burst and left him in a two-week coma. The TV star is set to sit down with ABC News anchor Diane Sawyer for an exclusive broadcast interview, airing Friday, October 28 at 8 p.m. Estate on ABC, it will be available the following day on Hulu. Matthew was seen arriving with a pal to the court, rocking a black polo shirt and shorts, adding sunglasses and sneakers. He headed to the court with his pals and was seen taking part in a friendly game together. Matthew's drug addiction revelation was revealed on Thursday during his interview with People magazine, while he was speaking about his upcoming memoir Friends, Lovers and a Big Terrible Thing. The actor, who is best known for playing Chandler Bing on Friends, is now sober. During his interview, he spoke about his decades-long battle to rid himself of the disease of addiction. Matthew had revealed that he to have 14 surgeries on his stomach and had to use a colostomy bag for 9 months, he said his stomach has a number of scars from the multiple surgeries. His therapist told him he may have to use a colostomy bag for the rest of his life if he takes drugs again, something that keeps him from relapsing. The actor did not disclose when he got sober but said he is pretty healthy now and choose to count each day. The actor also said he had to go to rehab 15 times in a bid to get clean, his first bout was in 1997 and then again in 2001 and in 2011. During his interview, the doctors told my family that I had a 2% chance to live. I was put on a thing called an ECMO machine, which does all the breathing for your heart and your lungs. And that's called a Hail Mary. No one survives that. Dot adding, I wanted to share when I was safe from going into the dark side of everything again. Open book, Matthew spoke out his battle to people I had to wait until I was pretty safely sober, and away from the active disease of alcoholism and addiction, to write it all down. And the main thing was, I was pretty certain that it would help people, Matthew said. The actor said his alcohol addiction began when he was 24 while starring on Friends, adding that he was entrenched in a lot of trouble by age 34. Matthew revealed that at one time he was taking 55 Vicodin a day while on Friends, noting that he was down to 128 pounds but didn't know how to stop. He said that his co-stars on Friends were understanding and patient. During season 9, Matthew was sober, that was the year he also was nominated for Best Actor. He played Chandler from 1994 to 2004 on Friends alongside co-stars David Schwimmer, Matt LeBlanc, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, and Lisa Kudrow. The show aired for 10 seasons and made the star's household names. They reunited in 2021, the first time after 17 years since the show ended, for a reunion special. Matthew's memoir Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing is available on November 1st, 